Hey, it's Gavin here. I hope you're well, and thank you for stopping by and watching my demo in this video. So today I have a foam roller with me. So it's kind of a, a giant cylinder, looks like a rolling pin or a giant rolling pin. And uh, this one in particular is, is perfect for beginners who have not rolled before because it's got a bit of give in it and there's no nobles on it. So the reason I say that is because the first couple of times you roll one of these, it can be a little bit tender, a little bit painful in areas. So it's a kind of a little warning for you there. Now, the reason foam rolling works so well is because it's great for uh, mobility, so improving mobility, good for getting out any, any knots in those muscles, any bound up muscles, and great for posture, and just feeling better with the way your body moves, okay, so that mobility is, is really key. Now, I'm going to show you a few different moves that, uh, that I have been used today, it's kind of like my, my six favourite ones that you can use, give it a blast, so if you've got one of these at home or you're a friend, that uh, has got one, borrow it off them, or you know, if you're in the gym, give these a blast, okay? Now the first one I'm gonna show you is for the quads, so the front of the thighs. I always use this one after basketball. And uh, in particular, I have tendonitis in my left knee, and it does flare up when I'm trying to, uh, to get up, up high <laughs> with the kids. All right, so, as you can see, I'm just lying on top of it. Very simple, I'm just gonna roll up just to sort of towards the top of the fires, being careful not to go over my googlies. That would not be a good idea. And then I'm gonna roll back just above the knee, so I'm not going over bone. So you never wanna really go over the bones here, any or knees or any joints. So I'm looking for the tender spots, that's what I'm really trying to find. And if I find I'm gonna sit there for sort of five seconds or just do a kind of pulsing roll, and just move over it backwards and forwards. But I generally spend a minute or two going up and down over any tight muscles. And the key thing to do is go to go and try and search for them. So twisting your knees to try and get the you know the outside of the thighs or bring them apart, try and get the inside of the thighs. And you can go, you know, one leg so you can move it out to the side slightly and try and really get inside where those sort of bound up muscles are, you have any knots, or you can just generally feel that tenderness, because that's where you need to go. And once we can get rid of that, and we know we're gonna, we're gonna feel better move better. Okay, so that's the one for the quads. The next one is, is a great one for runners. So anyone who suffers with runner's knee um, is often caused by a tight ITB, so the iliotibular band that runs from the kneecap all the way up to the hip. Okay, and when that gets tight, often through running, it pulls the kneecap across. So this is a good one here, but let me tell you this, this is a toughie. All right, so I'm gonna do, Oh, my thigh here. I'm just on my side here, and I'm making sure that I don't lean all my way on it. So you can be a little bit higher. I like to rest on my elbow here. I'm just gently going up. And again, looking for those tender spots. If I find them, I'm gonna stop, either sit on it, or just do a little pulsing movement backwards and forwards. And of course, I would do both sides here. I'm just gonna stick to the one for the purpose of the video and move on. Okay, but this one is the killer, okay? So a lot of people when they first do this are like, oh my God, eyes watering, <laughs> something like that. Next up, I'm gonna do the glutes, okay? So, go play around with this one. And uh, for me, this one's not quite, I'm not quite getting the force so in here, so probably need one of the knobbly ones or even a tennis ball, you're sitting on a tennis ball, something like that, to try and find out where those tennis spots are. But again, just, Playing with the angle, moving backwards and forwards. Trying to set your weight into it a little bit. You know, I'm just coming down to the hammies a touch here. I feel a bit of a stretch on my leg as well there. Again, play around. So again, you would do both sides. Again, just a minute, each side will do the job. From there, I'm gonna move down to my calves. Okay, if you've got quite tight calves, then just two feet on top. Now you're gonna to need to lift your body up a little bit on this one. Um, sometimes it might even be worth having a ledge, you know, do it off a step, so you're not having to try and lift up too high, because you do want to get a little bit of pressure pushing down onto the roller by your legs here. So for me, I would lift up here, changing the angle of my feet, trying to get the inside of the outside. But for me in particular, I need a little bit more pressure. I'm gonna cross my legs over and roll over like so. And play with the angle, trying to find those spots. 
and get him to do both sides. Now from there, what I like to do is flip it around. I kind of say do this one with caution. If you've got any back issues or especially any low back issues, you might just want to stick to the top part of this movement. So I'll show you what I need to do here. I'll lean back like so, holding my head for support. I'm going to bring my foot off the ground. I'm just going over the shoulders here. Try my breathing. I'm going to roll down a little bit further towards the lower back here. And this is where I'd say, if you have any lower back issues, you wouldn't go all the way this, this far down. But I mean, I like to try and go down, down to the lower part of the back. It feels good. I definitely feel it works afterwards, but if you have any issues down there, don't advise this one. Okay. And you can kind of do a wave over the top of it. So I'm going to bring it up, go down, like so. Just put my head all the way through this one. And this one's a great one for the posture. So that top part of the back, when everyone's slunched, you know, always slouched down all the time, looking on their phone, on their laptop, always like that all day. So that's a great one. And another one that I really like for the posture is this one. So I'm going to sit right on the end, with my head on the top there, and I'm literally just going to hang, okay? And this is, you know, I've been known to lie like this for five minutes, because it does feel so good afterwards. Just think about the posture, your shoulders are now slumped down, stretching out the chest slightly, but getting those shoulders into a position where they're stretching, your head's pushing back slightly, and this is working with gravity to try and pull that posture back where it should be, and it's a really good one. And from here, you can even just bring your arms up and kind of do snow angels, and so you pull your arms down, come back up, and try and push in your hands. Now it goes down towards the ground. Just trying to improve that posture, especially open up the chest and the shoulders. So there you have it. There's just a few different moves that I use and something that I recommend you try it out and then let me know how it goes because it's really, really good, as I say, for flexibility, recovery, getting out tight, bound up muscle, and probably the number one thing is improving your posture. Okay, so it really helps with that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Any comments, just stick them down below, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye for now.